Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of what the benefits are from overclocking the GTX 980 from stock to overclock. Now, my stock will give me a stable boost clock in games of about 1300 megahertz and 1753 megahertz on the memory. Now, that's my stock settings. Now, when I overclock the card, I'll end up having a boost clock of 1519 megahertz and 1903 megahertz on the memory. So I'm going to show you the difference in performance between the two settings and if it's actually worth overclocking the GTX 980 at all. So first up is Crisis 3. The settings I used was 1920 by 1080 on the resolution, FXAA, very high texture resolution, very high system specification. 16 times anastropic filtering, motion blur was set to medium and lens flares was enabled. Well, that's one way to do it. Warning. IMS detonation detected in Sector 1, Delta 4. So, moving on to Far Cry 4, I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080. V-Sync was off. All graphical settings were Ultra. HBO Plus on the ambient occlusion. I used Enhanced God Rays, SMAA and I also made sure that the field of view was at maximum. Next up is Watchdogs. I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080, Ultra Textures, FXAA. All graphical levels are Ultra and High. HBO Plus is also at High. I disabled Depth of Field because it does make things look blurry and for me, it doesn't actually make the game look better.
Step up, step up. We've got the game of the city right here. Everybody's a winner because everybody's got eyes. Annette. Okay, I'm going to come to my final test now, which is Tomb Raider. I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080 once again. And I also opted to use the ultimate preset. Now that includes FXAA, Tress Effects, and Tessellation. Sleep. 